The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the goat, and the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and the little child shall lead them.
gave hope when he said, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, and she is received from the Lord, Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken.
Thank you. 
And so, in those first hours before dawn, the shepherds left the hills to seek the Christ child, as told by the angels. As they made their way into the quiet of Bethlehem, their path shone silver from the light of one bright star, which rose over the stable and remained fast there, the first sign to all the world that the promised Savior was born. And so it came to pass that the word of the birth of the Christ child spread throughout the region. <coughs> People rejoiced that the promise had been kept, and they believed. There were some who could not understand the power of deliverance through love, and they wondered how this tiny child could indeed be the promised miracle, Savior and King, the Prince of Peace. Of his son, we have God's blessings in our hearts 
and are assured of his everlasting love. God's countenance is always upon us through his Son, Jesus. <laughs>
Go in peace.